Repair, Refuel, and Rearm Script. What's up everybody, this is Gunter Severlo. Today I'm going to share with you a script that I use in a lot of my missions, and it is a Repair, Refuel, and Rearm Script. So let's go to the editor. I'm going to go to Stratus, and we're going to go to the top left and load up a mission that I've set up for this script. Now this little mission is called Rearm, Refuel, and Repair. For this script, all you need to do is place a trigger. And a trigger can be any size you want. You could place multiple instances of the trigger. And uh, let's take a look at the trigger itself. So we're going to open the trigger up. At the top, script calls for a variable name. The name can be anything you want, I just happen to name it repair. If whatever you put in the variable name box, you have to have in two other spots. So going down below to the condition, we have repair here. So I have repair as the variable name, and I have repair as part of the condition. And then on activation, we also have repair here. For this particular trigger, I've set the trigger to repeatable, the activation is any player. Activation type is present. That means when the player enters, enters the trigger, then the, the script will do what it's supposed to do. We're going to place down a couple of things to demonstrate this script. And the first thing we're going to place down is a plane. So you can pretty much repair, refuel anything. Planes, cars, trucks, boats, what have you. So we're going to lower the health armor on this, drop the fuel down real low, drop the ammo real low, we're going to place down a hunter over here, face it this way, and then we're going to, going to lower its armor, lower its fuel, I'm not going to worry about the ammo, place down a Pawnee, face it this direction, and then we're going to edit this guy, lower its armor, its fuel, and basically take away all its ammo. Next what we'll do is we're going to go to empty, and then we're going to give the trigger an indicator of where we should go. So we have a blue arrow that will tell us where the uh, trigger is. Obviously it's in front of us. I'm going to create another instance of this trigger so click on the trigger so it's highlighted and press ctrl c that makes a copy of it i'm going to place it over here and then we're going to resize it to be the size of this helipad and then next what you got to do is you have to update the variable name the other trigger triggers variable name was repair now anytime you copy something and you paste a copy of whatever you copied, it'll add a number to it. So we could use this if we want, and all we have to do is just go down here and add the same number as in the variable. And that's it. Hit OK, and it's all set. A10 is in bad shape. You can see it's got no ammo. It's kind of got some bullet, bullet holes. see our red, uh, blue arrow up in the front there. So once you go into the trigger, you'll get this message at the bottom left of your screen. And you don't have to turn off your engine or anything. So you can see the ammo is... Nice. So all the bullet holes are fixed, it's repaired, refueled, and rearmed. That's great. Yeah, you can see the truck's in bad shape. So 
So the script is set to five seconds for repair. You can set it to be lower or you could set it to be longer. It's up to you. Take a look at the helicopter. So we got uh, more rockets in there. Pretty beat up. Now you can see it's got no ammo on the right. Very low on fuel. Rockets now, guns, fuel ready to go. We're in the mission for the demonstration for the rearm, refuel, and repair script set on Stratus. And here's the mission SQM, and here is the script itself. So let's take a look at what the script has. Quite a bit to it. Where it says on line five here it says X underscore reload underscore time underscore factor equals five. Five is how long it takes to rearm, repair, and refuel. So you could change this to be one second. That'll make it real fast and change it to 10 seconds or longer. So just make sure that the script is in your mission folder. I'm going to zip this little mission up and uh, link it in the description of the video so you guys can download it and implement this script into your own missions. I want to thank you guys for watching and uh, I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye.